Hello, it's Paul here, and we're looking at the next book in the Bible, which is the book of Ezra. That amazing young man of God. You know, Ezra was 22 years of age, and he was chosen and appointed by King Artaxerxes to lead the second mass migration out of exile and back to the promised land in Jerusalem. You know, Ezra was a direct descendant of Aaron, and Moses' brother, from a thousand years before him. He was a teacher and well versed in the law of Moses, and the king granted him everything he asked for, because the hand of the Lord his God was upon him. Ezra had devoted himself to the study and the observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching its decrees and its laws in Israel. Now today when we study the law or study the word of God, we often have to have concordances, we've got commentaries, we've got dictionaries, and of course we've got the internet. A simple little thing like a Google search will get you a Bible verse, it'll, it'll get you history and commentary and all that with the internet. But imagine back in Ezra's day, he would have had the scrolls, these great big scrolls of the books of the Torah. And he studied them and he devoted himself to them and he became an expert in them, so much so that the Lord's hand was upon him. Eighty years earlier, the great king Cyrus of Persia had conquered Babylon and encouraged the first Aliyah for the Jews to go back to Jerusalem and to rebuild the temple. The amazing thing about Cyrus was that Isaiah prophesied about him by name 200 years earlier, and that's recorded in Isaiah 44:28. And he said that this is what was going to happen. Cyrus also handed back all of the articles of the temple that were stolen by King Nebuchadnezzar. And so there was a really a famous restoration. And the second temple was completed rebuilding in the year 516 BC. But the people of Israel had lost their way and had compromised their holy position with God by intermarrying with other peoples and losing their love of the law. So along comes Ezra, a teacher, a priest, a leader, a scribe, who also wrote other books in the Bible like 1 and 2 Chronicles and Nehemiah. And it's also believed that he presided over 120 biblical scholars to compile the first Hebrew canon for the Old Testament, which, by the way, was ordered differently to the modern English version in that it ended with Second Chronicles, which ends with the verse calling people to go up to Jerusalem or to Alia. This makes Ezra one of the great proponents of Alia, whereby the Jews from all over the world return to Israel to fulfil their obligation to God. Ezra is also known as the Restorer because he helped the people get their lives back on track. Weeping and praying in the rain in the streets of Jerusalem for his people, like Jesus cried over Jerusalem. There's a similarity there. And imploring them to send their foreign wives and children away and to purify their chosen race, which most of them did. Those who did not were excommunicated. Ezra was also attributed to the order of service in the synagogues, with the word coming first and then worship. He gave primacy to the reading and the explaining of God's word, after which the people can respond or get excited and praise his glorious name. A key verse is Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. 
for Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to its teaching its decrees and laws in Israel Ezra's name also means help and he brought the scripture he studied it he lived it he taught it and he is the epitome of Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3 Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of, of mockers but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers, and that is like this great mighty man, Ezra. So there you go, that's a little look at Ezra. If you're interested in following our look at the books of the Bible from Australia, then our next book is going to be Nehemiah. So click on the button on the screen and you'll be able to come and watch our next episode the book of Nehemiah. You have a great day. See you later.